What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Now this is your third stimulus check update and we have some breaking news. There was common ground that we've got to take care of the American people. The president said, listen, we may disagree on, on some things, but we're not going to disagree on the need to take care of those in need. Now Republicans offered for something more focused, but another bit of common ground is that we're, we're talking from data. What does the data show that we need? And the the president's going to have his staff get back to us. The timing of our next stimulus check just got a lot clearer. Pelosi just made a new prediction on when she expects lawmakers to finish their work and have something ready for Joe Biden to sign. Work, especially our chairman, uh, organizing their committees to get ready for our, our bill that we anticipate will become law. Now folks, if you want to find out when we will get a third stimulus check, be sure to stay until the end of the video. And also, Remember that I'm still doing the Amazon gift card giveaway. I'll be giving away a total of $500 in free Amazon gift cards. All of them to you guys. And to enter my giveaway to win, just be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click that notifications bell, give this video a like, and share my videos with your friends and family. Because I'm sure they would like to get the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check updates. And if you can, feel free to check out my good friend Bailey David. She's also doing stimulus updates and wants to help out her community by giving away a free Amazon gift card. So yes, folks, go check out Bailey David's channel in the link below. Understanding that that's the reputation of both. And so there was a lot that was covered. Very respectful and very patient with us. Uh, and it was a good meeting. You may be right. There's nothing guaranteed in this process. It is how our founding fathers set it up. And I go back to the need to have data. I've been a big advocate for state and local aid. But one of the data points was a recent report from J.P. Morgan using data from the states saying that most states have, not, have, have lost less than 2% of, of their revenue year over year. A state like New York is down 1.5%. My state's been hit hard, 4.6% decline in revenue. That's the sort of data we need to make a wise decision, not just throw money out there and hope that it works. There was a recent survey of a Wall Street Journal did of analysts and it's 4.2%. That's pretty robust growth. If you look at information from the Fed, it shows that credit card delinquencies have gone down. We have proposed as part of an approximately $600 billion package. He explained in more depth areas that uh, were not fleshed out as much in the package, the $1.9 trillion package. And it was a very good exchange of views. I wouldn't say that we came together on a package tonight. No one expected that in a two hour meeting. But what we did agree to do is to follow up and talk further at the staff level and amongst ourselves and with the president and vice president on how we can continue to work together on this very important issue. All of us. And with our Republican colleagues to produce the, a big, bold piece of legislation that will help us deal with and get out of this awful, awful crisis. We look forward to working with Republican colleagues to make this COVID package a reality. And you saw there were a number of bipartisan amendments. The first amendment that passed, a very important one to help restaurants, was, was uh, authored by Senator Sinema and Wicker, one a Democrat, one a Republican. But make no mistake, Senate Democrats will not do, dither, dilute, or delay because the COVID responsibility is so real. And now let me, here is the order of speaking. I think it's seniority, I guess. Murray, Stabenow, Wyden, Carper, Cantwell, Menendez, Cardin, Sanders, Brown, Schatz. First, Patty Murray. And Tester, who is a happy, surprise guest arrival. So you didn't think you'd make a real Th Thank you, Leader Schimmer. Since January 6th, there has been no question in my mind we need to do everything we can to make clear that in our country, brute force cannot win over people's voices and votes. That's a critical part of our work, but this time- The $1,400 stimulus check is moving through Congress at a turbocharged pace compared to the way the second $600 payments 
crawled along in Congress. In the spring and last summer, the Democratic-controlled Congress began working on the new stimulus checks in late January. And this legislation is quickly clearing key hurdles. Pelosi, Speaker Pelosi, just made a new prediction on when she expects the lawmakers to finish their work. The next stimulus package will include checks like $1,400 stimulus payments in the $1.9 trillion bill. The amounts of the first two checks phased out for Americans making over $75,000 a year, and the Democrats toyed with the idea of lowering that threshold to $50,000. Ultimately, House Democrats decided that the new stimulus checks will move ahead with the same income limits as before. So that means if you got a full payment last time, you will get one again. The targeting issue may not be settled for good because Democrats controlled it because Democrats controlled the Senate by the thinnest of margins and will need every vote from their side. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin has supported the $50,000 income limit and says that he wants proof that Americans making $75,000 a year are truly in need. Pelosi says the House can see the finish line. She said, and I quote, We hope to have all of this finished by the end of the month, by the end of February. And under that timeline, you can receive your next stimulus check as soon as late March. Now for those of you on unemployment benefits, the, Depart the State Department of Labor and Industrial Relations has completed system updates for the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, or PEUC program. The program was granted an 11-week extension, which is set to roll out on February 16th with a phased implementation. In addition, everybody, the House Democrats have budgeted for commodity purchases to help, United to help farms in the country. Joe Biden backed the proposal for quicker phase-out for quicker phase-outs of planned $1,400 stimulus checks. In the House and Democrats, in the House and Senate Democrats are clashing on the design of expanded support for the unemployed. And that's an early sign of the intra-party squabbling in the $1.9 trillion bill. The House aims to vote on the full bill during the week of February 22nd. And Pelosi has pledged to secure congressional passage by mid-March. Food aid for hungry Americans and commodity purchases for hurting agricultural producers top the list of priorities with the fiscal 2021 budget reconciliation bill. Now for those of you on SI and SSDI, the SSI Employment Support offers ways for you to continue receiving your SI checks and Medicaid coverage while you work. Some of these provisions can increase your net income to help cover special expenses. Once you receive SSI, the SSA, consider that your disability continues until you medically recover, even if you work. And if, you cannot, and if you cannot receive SSI checks because your earnings are too high, your eligibility for Medicaid may continue while you're working. In most cases, if you lose your job or are unable to continue working, you can, begin to receiving, you can begin receiving checks again without filing for a new application. So yes everybody, that is all the news in this video. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell. Until next time folks, have a great day and stay safe.